disappointed a little bit today. Kind of frustrated. You know, have you ever had, as a collector, you ever had a holy grail that as soon as you get it in your grasps, you know that the world is all going to come together and everything is going to be complete? Hmm. For me, that didn't happen. Not even close. I get my holy grail and then whoosh, like a slap across the face with a bear boob. Um, <laughs> that's how it felt. Uh, barbed wire. Uh, uh, Pamela Anderson uh, in barbed wire. This was my holy grail for a very, very, very long time. I... I could have bought it years ago. I could have bought this uh, online and ordered it. But I said, no, 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 not going to do it. I want to find this in the wild. And I did. I finally found it in the wild not that long ago. Um, unrated version, which means it's a ton of nudity. Lots of boobies. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of bear butts and boobies. And, and it's crazy. This movie was kind of disappointing. Um, and, and I'm not going to say it's Pamela Anderson's fault. I, I know there's a cult following or sort of a cult following behind this. I don't think uh, Pamela Anderson... I don't think Pamela Anderson was at fault here. A lot of people would say, oh, she's a horrible actress. She couldn't act. I don't think that's it. Um... I think, honestly, it has a lot more to do with the way it was filmed and the script. This is a very low-budget B-movie, and it had potential to be box office. It really did. There was a lot of amazing action in this, a lot of drama and suspense. Um, I mean, a lot of nudity, but we're going to put that off to the side. Pamela Anderson's character in this was amazing. She's like, like the superhero, um, for chicks, for girls, really. Um, you know, the thing about this, this movie could have been Pamela Anderson in this movie could have been Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator two. I mean, she, this had potential. Unfortunately, the ball got dropped budget. I don't know what it was. Something happened and I don't know what it is. Now, I don't want to completely tear it apart because this was a really good film. It really was inspiring. And, and I mean that in kind of, um, how do I word this? It was inspiring in a cinematic sort of way. I like cheese. Okay. I like low budget cheesy movies. I love them. Something about this was exactly what I wanted to watch. But being my holy grail, I was hoping for more. I was really, really hoping this was... I mean, I've been wanting this movie in my collection and to be able to watch for probably a good 15 or 16 years. And when I finally got to see it and watch it, I was unfortunately kind of sad. They played up the sex too much. They played up the, um, I don't know, the kicks, the, a lot of the, a lot of the fighting and stuff was just too, ca the camera angles were off. The timing was off. Um, it just didn't kind of, it didn't, didn't play right. So, uh, anyways, um, unfortunately mm, not as good as I would like. Uh, will I upgrade at some point uh, if it comes out on Blu-ray? No. I, uh, DVD is fine. I will most likely never watch it again. Will it have a place in my collection? I don't think so. Um, it would be cool to get a poster and hang a poster up uh, just because it was my holy grail for so long. Uh, but no, I, I don't think, I don't know. I'll give it a couple of years and I'll watch it again and see if I change my mind. We'll do that. Uh, just because I was so, I was so hoping it was going to be better than it was. That's what will happen.
All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Ah, the beard is getting long, isn't it? Um, I, I'm having a blast. Are you having a blast? Oh my gosh, this year is just flying by. It's going to be summer before you know it. You're going to have to go over to my other channel at some point in time and watch me in the garden. I know Babs is super excited about that. I know Simon is super excited about that. I know Troll Forge is super excited about that. I know JT Bear is super excited about that. I'm excited about that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, thank you so much for hanging with me. I want to say, I want to say thank you. Um, it really, it really makes the world go around when I am able to come out here and and share with you a little piece of my world. So thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I I would love love to invite you to hit that button. Stick around. Um, I am putting up a video each and every day. So. Yay. <laughs> All right. Until next time, you guys. Bye for now.